If you've spent enough time studying Earth's deep past, you know that our planet keeps its most important stories buried, sometimes literally. And this one sat hidden for thousands of years, sealed under ice so thick that no human, no satellite picture, and no explorer could have ever spotted it. What finally exposed the truth wasn't a shovel or a drill, but a beam of energy fired from airborne radar. And what scientists found beneath Greenland's Hiawatha Glacier stunned even the people who study ancient catastrophes for a living. Let's get straight to it. Under nearly a kilometre of solid ice lies a giant impact crater, 31 kilometres wide. That makes it one of the largest impact structures discovered on Earth in the past century. But the size isn't the only thing raising eyebrows. It's the implications. If the dating proves correct, and this is still debated, it might connect to one of the most abrupt climate crashes in human prehistory. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's walk through what we know, what's still uncertain, and what this buried crater might mean for the story of extinctions, survival, and Earth's violent past. The first hint came in 2015. Researchers using NASA's Operation Icebridge were running routine radar scans of Greenland's ice sheet. Normally, this data helps measure ice thickness. But this time, the radar bounced back with a shape that didn't fit glacial patterns at all. It was circular, sharply defined, and unnaturally deep. Features like that don't form from erosion or volcanic collapse. They form from impact, a violent one. The team returned to the data again and again. They flew new radar passes, building three-dimensional models of what lay under the ice. And slowly, the picture came together, a perfect crater with uplifted central peaks, sloped walls, and a basin big enough to swallow a major city. When they published the findings in 2018, the scientific world lit up. We simply don't find craters this large anymore. Geological forces erase them, or they lie in places impossible to detect. Greenland's ice sheet acted like a vault, preserving the structure like a time capsule. Dating the crater is still the key challenge. Here's why. The ice on top is far younger than the rock beneath. So scientists have to rely on tiny grains of shocked quartz, minerals physically distorted by extreme pressure, to estimate the age. Based on current evidence, the impact likely happened within the last three million years but some researchers argue it may be far younger, possibly around 12,800 years ago, aligning with what's known as the Younger Dryas cooling event. Now, this is where the controversy begins. The Younger Dryas is a sudden plunge in global temperatures that hit just as the world was warming up at the end of the last ice age. Human cultures in the Northern Hemisphere were disrupted. Large animals, mammoths, giant sloths, American horses were already under pressure, and the climate shift may have delivered the final blow. For decades, scientists have debated whether this event was caused by natural climate oscillation or, you know, an extraterrestrial trigger such as fragments of a comet or meteor impact. Some believe the Hiawatha crater fits into that picture. But we need to be disciplined here. It's a hypothesis, not a conclusion. There's no confirmed date tying the crater directly to that timeline. The scientific process takes time, and more drilling, more cores and more samples are needed before anyone can say the impact caused global consequences. 
For historians and researchers, this is where patience is essential. You don't force the evidence, you follow it. Regardless of the exact date, we do know what an asteroid large enough to carve a crater of this magnitude would have done. It would have vaporized kilometers of crust instantly. Shock waves would have flattened forests or tundra for hundreds of kilometers. Firestorms, earthquakes, and atmospheric debris would have followed. If ice covered the region at the time, the explosion would have hurled billions of tons of water and pulverized rock into the sky, potentially affecting climate patterns far from Greenland. For survivalists and historical analysts, this event is, well, a powerful reminder of scale. The Greenland crater was created by something estimated to be more than a kilometre wide, travelling faster than any weapon humans have ever built. Impacts like this aren't common, but they do define chapters of Earth's story. And if we want to understand past extinctions and prepare for future risks, studying these buried scars is honestly essential. Here's where the practical application comes in. If you want to explore impact sites firsthand, study topographic maps of confirmed craters, Sudbury in Canada, Chicxulub in Mexico, and Wolf Creek in Australia. Learn how shock metamorphism identifies an impact. Look for shatter cones, melted breccias, and shocked quartz. These features appear nowhere else in nature. If you're more technologically inclined, take the NASA IceBridge datasets, they're public, and practice reading radargrams. You'll start to recognize circular signatures that stand out from normal glacial patterns. That's how researchers found Hiawatha in the first place. Understanding Greenland's hidden crater teaches us a broader lesson. Earth's history isn't written just in fossils or ruins. It's etched into bedrock, buried under oceans, locked inside ice sheets, and scattered across continents. Every crater we discover reshapes our timeline of past catastrophes and the resilience of early humans and ecosystems. As new dating techniques advance and more ice cores are extracted, We'll learn whether the Hiawatha impact was a regional catastrophe or a global influencer. Either way, it's one of the most significant geological discoveries of the century, a reminder that the calm world we see today is built on a foundation of violent events we're only beginning to uncover. If you want more deep history investigations like this, make sure you subscribe to Strange Planet and share this video with someone who appreciates the hidden mechanics of Earth's past. There are more secrets waiting beneath the ice, and we're just getting started.